Hi and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4 Kids at 147, and it's time to de kit the kit from this rose. And this was from the Narby store on AliExpress. I have done a completed sort of review video on that, so by all means, check that out. But it now comes the time where the diamonds need to go away. So I've used I used this storage box for this one that comes with two layers. If I can get the other layer out. Um, I've got a little label that tells me which diamond painting was in it. But it's now time to get the diamonds away. Now they are square diamonds. So I currently have an ongoing project where I am doing a heaven and earth design cross stitch as a diamond painting and I'm using my spares to do it. So because of that, I de-kit my spares different than others may. In that I have my heaven and earth design, diamonds that are being used over 200 of the DMC colours, I keep them separate to my usual. So when I'm de-kitting like this, the first thing I like to do is pull out any that are heaven and earth design diamonds and get those away first and then anything that's left goes into my spares. And if I don't already have a bag for them, then I've not had them before. Um, so I have four cases for my heaven and earth designs. This one is from 151 to 601. So I'll see if any match up. So 150, no. 154, no. 304, yes. So I have 304 in my heaven and earth designs and I have some left over from here. And they all fit into that pot. So that's that one done. And I'm gonna take the label off so that I know that one has been completed. So that's the first one. Then we've got 368. I also have that one. So we'll pop those in. Now, if the colours don't match exactly, that doesn't bother me. The design I chose from Heaven and Earth Designs, I chose on the basis that if the colours were slightly different, you wouldn't really be able to tell. Um, I mean, these are a very 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 good match but I tend to just give them a little shake just in case okay so next one is 505 which I don't have 519 I do so we'll open the 519 tip those in they are a little bit different those ones but not too much but again I'll just give them a shake when I'm doing my heaven and earth design if I am working on a big block of the same colour, then I will just pick one of those shades and use that for that block. And then when I'm doing a different block, I'll pick a different shade. Okay, and then the next one is 601. And this case goes up to 601, but it's already, the label's already been taken off, which means that my Heaven and Earth design doesn't need the number 601 anymore because I have completed all I need to of some colours, so that'll go into my spares. Next box, or next case, is 603 to 905. So we'll start with 632. Don't need that. 666, okay. So 666 is in this design, but this pot is full to the brim. Um, because obviously I've been filling it up with other diamonds. So when it comes to that, voila. I also have a spares box that is purely for extras for my heaven and earth designs. So this is where things get complicated. Um, so in here, if I go to my 600s, I already have a bag of 666 that's extra. So in this case, this will go straight into here. This is um, a box laid out very, very similar to my standard spare storage, which you will see. Um, but in here, I've just grouped them in 300s, 400s, 
500, 600, etc. I haven't done individual numbers because whenever I do, you know, finish using a colour on my Heaven and Earth design and I've actually, you know, used all the colour that that painting is going to need, then I put them back into regular circulation. That's the word. Okay, 702 we don't have, but 703 we do. I'm just going to move this to the side just a little bit. So 703, tip those in with it. Oh, they are a different colour. Oh, well. I say I don't, oh, so I don't let that bother me anymore. They're a different colour. They're a different colour. Um, 6, 704. Now, 704 is also looking very full. Am I going to get these in? I got them in just. I probably have a bag for these for spares, but it's easier if I can get them in the pots. Much easier, or it is in my mind anyway. 796 I have here and I have here. I've got loads of room in this one, so I mustn't have many of these in spares. So that's that one down. And then 798. I also have that. In fact, I already have about three shades in that one. So, oh, there's only a few. Not many to go in that one at all. Take that off. And there we go. And then 823, that's another one that's extremely full. Um, and I have a lot of diamonds in here, so there's no way I can squeeze them in. So I'll go into my others, and I probably already have, in fact I do, I already have a bag of 823 spare. So I'll pop these in with them. And whenever I finish this heaven and earth design and all these diamonds go back into my usual spares, I'm probably going to need four boxes for spares. At the moment, I currently use three. So that's 823. 825, we don't have. 844, we don't have. Okay, so that's that one done. Pinched all the ones I need. On to the next one, 890. I have that one here and we do have space oh and they, there is a handful of diamonds for that one i must have got very close to the wire on this painting so that's 890 done and then 905 we also have some of those so let's tip those in these labels are coming off well they were coming off really easy I do think if I've used Goo Gone on the bottles before, the next lot come off really easy. Okay, so that's 905, that's that case done. Two out of four. I have four cases for this painting. Four 60 bottle cases. So this one is 906 to 3712. So 906 we have. And I have in this painting. In they go. Label comes off. And then 935, 935. So we'll pop those in. Again, there wasn't very many of those left at all, but it tops up my heaven and earth design for when I need them. 939. Now I know that is one that this uses, and I also know it's a full top. When I first started my heaven and earth design painting, um, 939s. I actually had loads and I still really, really struggled uh, because I used them all up so quickly at the top of the design. But um, some people were kind enough to send me some 939s to keep going. And it's a very popular colour in a painting because it's a really dark blue. Um, and now I've got to the point of the design that doesn't use much 939. Um, so it seems as though I've got loads again, but I do know it appears further down. Okay, then we've got 986. 
full look. See, that is all the spares that I had. So while it's not many, that has doubled the amount of spares that I had before. I don't know how many the painting needs, but at least I know I have more. 989 is another one that's quite low, but I can top that one up now. And when it comes to it, some of the colours on my heavenly designs, I actually need less than 10 diamonds for. Some of them, I need a lot more. Okay, 995, I did have. There's an empty bottle here, but I've removed the Heaven and Earth Design sticker because I've actually used all the diamonds I needed. Um, 996, I have a load left, but I do also have a full tub. So for 996, let me have a look in my spares. Yeah, I already have a bag ready for them. If I don't, sometimes I find myself creating a bag, but if I've got one already, all the better. Throw them in with the rest. And throw them into my 900s. And then if I ever need, when I'm working on my heaven and earth signs, if I ever need to fill them up, I know where they are. Okay, 3750, we're past the end of this one. So, on to my next case, 3750. Again, that is a colour that I've used quite a bit and it's a colour that's full. Do I have a bag for it? I do. I have a bag of 3750s already. So we'll put them in. So some of them are fuller than others, of course. Especially if it's a colour that is popular in diamond paintings. Um, the more you diamond paint, the more you will recognise what colours are popular and which ones aren't. Because you will see the same numbers showing up time and time again. Okay, 3766. That's nearly full, but I've only got a few diamonds, so we'll put them in. I've still got space. There comes a time when I'm topping up my heaven and earth design, design diamonds more than I'm using them. But I need to start putting that right. 3801 and 3801. And it is easier to tip into these pots than it is to put in the baggies and put back into my spares. But it's not practical to have pots for spare diamonds because they just take too much living space. Okay, 3803. Nope. 3810. No. 3842. Yes. And that's pretty full. But I think I might be able to get these in it. That's very close. I probably filled this a little bit too much but the lid shuts and it rattles ever so slightly so we'll take that so that one and then only two more to go on here so 3844 is another blue and I need that one so that can go in Ooh. stickers are going so well peeling off and then I have one that plays up and then last but not least, 3846, which I also have a bit of room in and not too many left over. So we'll tip those in. It is a slightly different shade, but that's fine. Okay, so I have now done the first stage of de-kitting a square, which is take out any diamonds that I'm using for my heaven and earth designs, fill up the storage or the spares for it. And now I can do what people call a normal D-kit. So for a normal D-kit, for anybody that's not doing a heaven and earth designs, this is what you would normally do. And this is what I do when it comes to round diamonds because I don't use them for something else. 
I have, ooh, I have these photo boxes that have all the DMC numbers from one, this box holds from 100 up to 699. And then for 150, I will go to the section for 150. I have two bags in there. One has round diamonds, one has square diamonds. I will take out the one for squares. And I will tip in the leftovers. Um, I will occasionally straighten up the piece of paper that's in there. And that's just so that they lie as flat as they can. Uh, it gives me more space in the boxes if they don't all crunch up. I'll take the sticker off the top if this one wants to play ball. And that is that colour away. Uh, 154, I actually have two bags of square, so that must be a popular colour in diamond painting kits. If I've already de-kitted nearly two bags worth. It must be a very popular colour for me to have that many that are just spares rather than diamonds because I don't tend to buy diamonds separately okay and then you would normally just continue on the rest but of course I can move straight to 505 because I've already de-kitted some okay now 505 I do not have in here and I know it's not in my heaven and earth designs which means I haven't had any spares of these colours before and after doing this for two and a half years, you do still find that there's some colours you haven't had before. So for that, I am currently using a pen pot for this. It was something that came to me during a recent de-kitting. Um, it actually used to hold rubbers and staples, but I've hightailed it for this purpose. This is my de-kitting pot. So in my de-kitting pot, I have round and square stickers for labels. I have baggies which I use all the same size for this storage. Um, this actually has some of these card things in case for any weird reason. Um, there's only a few but they're just ones, I think it's three of them, uh, three or four. They're just ones that when I cut up a sheet of card these were left over. They stay in there um, and I have the pen that I like to use. So the reason this is my de-kitting pot is now that I've come to 505 and I don't have a baggie in there, I need to create one. And when I'm de-kitting, I can just grab this whole pot. I've got my baggies, I've got my inserts, I've got my pen, I've got everything I need. So little piece of card to help it stand up, otherwise the bag shrinks. I've got a label, and in this case I'm on squares, and then I've got the pen I like to use to add on 505. And the reason I write the label last is this pen takes a little bit of time to dry, so it can dry in there, and then I won't smudge it if I do it last. Um, and this little pot is great to just grab and has everything I need when I'm de-kitting a kit and I don't have to worry about where's that pen that I like to use, where's my baggies, um, where's my stickers, I just keep a few. Um, when my little insert type pieces of paper, when I run out of what I've got in this pot I know I need to cut some more because that's the only place that they go. And I'm really liking doing it this way. Um, I'm really liking grabbing it. So I might have to get my daughter to create me another label. But I'll do that when she's a bit less busy. Okay, 601. I've already got a bag for this one. So that's easier. Um, if anybody likes the way that I store my spare diamonds or wants more information on it, if you go to my website, which is four, the number four, four kids at 147, and the numbers 147 are a digit. 
um, under the heading diamond painting, diamond painting videos, there is a link called spare storage and that will show you the videos on how I created the system. It will also give you the measurements that you need, so the size of my bags, the size of the card inserts, all that's on there as well. Um, and also these pretty labels that give me my DMC numbers are available as a free download on there. Um, you can get them printed by my daughter Megan um, and there's a contact form if you want to inquire about the price of that but you can download them for free if you want to print them yourself. Okay so I've got to 602 and I actually have a bag for square uh, for rounds but I don't have one for squares so I'm going to need another bag I'm going to need another piece of paper I might just leave some of these laid out I don't need the round stickers because I'm not de-kitting around but I do have a few sticker sheets here that are half used so we'll go for the next one with the least amount on it and I do still keep these stickers somewhere else because I also use them for um, I also use them for kitting up kits that, that I can't print out these little labels with. So therefore um, I have some somewhere else and when they get low in here I'll just top them up from the stock. So 602 or 602 one, yeah. Pop those in and then we've got 632. 632 and I want my squares. I have squares. And we put those in. You see where I've smudged my pen on that one before and I mustn't have uh, thrown it in the box to dry. Okay, so that's 632 done and dusted, and that is the end of the first box. My first box is the 100s to the 600s. My second box is the 700s to the 900s. So in this one, I need 702, which I already have a bag. Even easier when I already have a bag. Of course, it takes a bit longer when you don't, but you build it up and eventually you get to the point where you're... Ooh. Sorry, my chair just slid down. It's propped up out the way. It has been there quite happily for hours and it's just decided to slip and hit me. Anyway. Um, yeah, you will eventually build them up. However, I'm still finding ones two and a half years later that I don't have. But there is a lot of numbers and a lot of, you know, programs that suppliers use that use, that favour different colours. So while you'll have popular ones, there are also times when you'll have new ones. Okay, 844. Here we go. Eight, oh, see I have a fair amount of those as well. Only one bag. But I have a fair amount. Try and make sure all the air's flattened out before I pop them away. 844. And what I like about this system is when it gets full, you get yourself another box and you scoop them over and give them a little bit more breathing space. And you don't have to redo the whole thing. Okay, so that is one section of this done. There is a couple of bottles that I just need to go over with Goo Gone, um, but I'll put those to the side and clean them up afterwards. Um, 995, here's my squares. Because I finished using them in my Heaven and Earth designs, they got put back into the regular mix of things. And that is that box done. Two down, one to go. And my final spares box 
is the 3000s. Now, I do not have a lot of 3756, but I did get a painting from Ever Moment um, that had a lot of the background was that colour, like a lot of the background was that colour. And Ever Moment give you 30% more diamonds. So I've ended up with a rook ton of them. Okay, 3803, I have a bag. Piece of paper's not quite sat right, but it was making it stay up right, so I suppose it did its job. Right, come on. Got a diamond that was stuck. So we'll pop that one away. And then last, but by no means least, we've got 3810. And I do have a bag for this one. So we'll pop 3810 in. Only have a few, but if I ever have a painting that runs out of that colour, at least I can go to my spares and get an option. Or maybe I can think up more projects in the future to use up spares. So that's that one done. So the diamonds have all been de-kitted. I can just pop all of my stickers and my baggies and my little paper insert parts and my pen all back in there, done and dusted. You haven't got, you know, a pen pot in a little basket or anything. So the last thing I need to do to be able to put this away is just to get my goo gone, which is what I've been using. Um, there's just a couple of bottles, if I can get the thing open. There we go. There's just a couple of bottles that have a little bit of residue. Not a lot, but just, just a few that have a little bit of sticky residue. And this Goo Gone, you can get all sorts of sticky remover stuff, but I just got some Goo Gone off Amazon. And it smells of oranges. So I don't mind, it's not offensive. And I just like to wipe over the tops of the bottles that are showing that, you know, where the stickers were. Because then I know that the next time I go to pick it up, I won't be disappointed that I have to clean them first or make sure stickers are stuck over them. And then wipe off any residue. And then pop the goo gone away. It goes up on a high shelf and I just use the soft link cloth for that. I don't know that it really matters. And then bob these back away in my case. And that is ready for the next diamond painting I may want to put in that one, depending on the numbers of diamonds needed. This can go back up onto my pegboard ready for the next e-kit and that's the job done. So I hope this um, de-kitting has been helpful, if not enjoyable, some company while you've de-kitted your own. Um, don't forget to go to the website, which is linked below, if you want to see my spare storage videos, if you want to find yourself the labels, um, anything like that, it's all on there. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch and I'll speak to you all again soon.